Hi guys, it's me Andrea. Today I will show you a Christmas card I made and I was looking for a design I can sort of mass produce without looking simple or boring. So I found some nice technique on a block, Tim Holtz block. Was it his block or his web? You will find it definitely when you have a look um, for Christmas cards, I think. So what I do here, I put down pretty simple craft paint very cheap um, simple craft paint it's my lovely sea green I love that color so much and uh, this is a fluid mask mask um, yeah fluid mask actually so I put that on because I didn't want to have this distress part on the whole card that's why I blend out some areas here and that was I think the best method I thought without um, gluing stuff down so this is actually um, a dye you will see that later I don't know why I show that here it's a bit weirdly edit, edited so yeah <laughs> and on that part um, I put normal black paint down use my uh, anti-static body and these are the stems I will use. I stamp it down with rosin mark ink and randomly where space was left I put it down and I, on top of that very important that you use clear embossing powder because the black should um, pick through and clear off here with a brush the strain embossing powder and then heat set it and that looks always amazing when you do that it's magical so yeah I, I really like this process a lot okay that needs to cool down and then I remove the mask the fluid masking or the masking fluid masking fluid that's a word yay so on top of that I put this green craft paint and let that dry so and now I'm working with baby wipes and I'm trying not to rub too hard, especially mostly or mostly on these embossed areas. So, and for the embellishment on top, I use this glitter paper in black with this dye, and that's what you saw me doing before. And I edited it wrongly too early, whatever, doesn't matter. <laughs> so I glue this down. And I needed two of them, of course. One was too short. And I will cut that off. And then I had, of course, some stuff left over. And I didn't, didn't want to waste that. So I thought, cut off the trees and use it at the edges. Because I wanted to go right, uh, right to the edges. Didn't want to have some gaps there. And then the third one, or the last one, I used here where both came together that hides it quite good so and I wanted to have some stars that's the only punch I have for stars funny isn't it and that's so difficult because the glitter paper is so sturdy but I made it but it is quite difficult to do that with these punches dice would be much better but that it looks so much nicer on top of that having something black glittery there to bring a bit of um, color into it, I used this uh, Inca gold or Maya gold uh, in magenta and put that on the tree. Some dots, I really like that. You can see it here. And very, very lightly, a bit of color, and that's it. So I cut all overhanging stuff off, and then I thought this lower part, I didn't like that, so I'll cut that off. That will change the layout of the card a bit, but it doesn't matter. The way you stay flexible when you do that, <laughs> when your initial plan doesn't work, then go with the flow. So, yeah, I layer that on a mirror card, and um, yeah, and then I thought mm, I will cut right and left sides off and have a card made. Yeah, how should I say? You will see that I put it on. The card, of course, is too wide, and I will cut that off. And it's a smaller size then, 
doesn't matter. But it looks so much nicer when you finish off right and left. Um, I don't have this magenta um, stamping or ink, so I use my uh, Faber Castell Pit Pen Big Brush to stamp with it, and that works really well. And that's it. That's a close up already, and look at all this glitter. That's actually the paper, it's a nice glitter paper, but it's uh, not flaking. Absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you like it. You will see some pictures coming now, and I will see you soon, I hope, with my next project. So have a fantastic time, guys. Bye-bye.